hello and welcome to this video in which I will show you how to achieve this beautiful, soft, smudged look with a lot of brown shades that I think it's so flattering for autumn. My name is Irina and I'm the owner of the blog Lipstick Cafe and if you enjoy talking about makeup and cosmetics then please consider subscribing to this channel. I try to create something that moves away from the very predictable copper red tones we see recommended over and over again. I don't think this is difficult to achieve at all, I think it's really fast, I don't think you need a lot of things, I think the chances are that you will have these colours in your collection already, so if you want to see how I achieve this look then please keep watching. I've already done my base because I filmed a video before this. What I've done is I've used the Healthy Mix Bourjois Serum Foundation, I've given myself quite a bit of contouring with the Rimmel Duo Contour Stick as well as using the Rimmel Bronzer and the Hourglass Bronzer. So I will use this beautiful burgundy shade from a Kiko palette which I think it's very autumnal and absolutely beautiful and I will use that on a dense brush to kind of give myself a cat eye look. You can use any deep brown burgundy shade in your collection. Matte would be preferable but even if it has a tiny tiny bit of a sheen it's not an actual problem. Lots of palettes have this kind of shade so it shouldn't be a problem. And from the Tati palette now I'll use this beautiful dark brown uh, on a bigger brush and I will just use that to kind of give myself the smokiness I desire. And a bit of definition in the hood of my eyes. Adding a tiny bit of shadow in the hood of your eyes if your eyes are slightly hooded like mine is always a nice thing to do. Now the part I'm most excited about, I'm going to use these glittery eyeshadow from Kiko. And I will only use my finger to apply it. Wow. This is beautiful. I love that it has a sophisticated glitter. I would say this is a glitter that would suit most people. Whoa, I love this. Kind of made that um, cat, uh, cat shaped eyeliner disappear. So I will go back with my brush and the same big burgundy shade in the Kiko palette. And add that back. For the lips I will buy an hourglass lipstick and I'm really excited to do that. It's in the shade I Cherish and I think this is the limited edition for 2019, the ghost edit one. So excited to apply this. This is a very nude, beautiful shade. It's a bit too pink toned. I thought it was more peachy. I would have definitely preferred something more peachy. I think I will go with the Velvet Teddy from MAC because it's a bit of a more of a brownish shade. It's a mess under my eyes. Oh no! No! I just put all that glitter all over my face. I 
will add a bit of blush and I will use the the strobe blush in iridescent rose and oh, how can I cover the mirror <laughs> it's that blush just there so I'm not using a pink one I'm going on redder tones it's not quite copperish but it is much um, deeper and more warm toned than, than, you know, just a pink blush. I don't want anything peachy necessarily either. I just I think that shade is absolutely perfect for what I'm trying to do. Just add that. Not a lot. Should do. And for highlighter, I've already used the Becca highlighter. You can use the intensity you kind of desire. For a daytime look, I wouldn't go too overboard with it. Um, so you can curl your lashes. And then for a daytime look, all you really want to do now is pretty much apply your mascara and that's going to be you. I think the glittery eyeshadow is adding a very glamorous, beautiful um, effect to the look. I'm going to use the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. Of course, I smudged it under my eyes, as usual. <laughs> if that happens, you just need to let it dry and then just scrape it off with your fingernail. For my eyebrows, I'm just going to use a clear gel, just to kind of keep them more in place. But to be honest, you can't really see them from my fringe. So for daytime, I would say this look is extremely sexy and smudgy. And I absolutely love it. I am not shy to wear glittery eyeshadows during the day, but if you think it's too much like that, just stick to the base brown eyeshadow that you've used under the glittery eyeshadow, if you remember. What you can do to make it look even sexier and oh, more glamorous is use a brown eye pencil and you can water your, and you can line your waterline. Or if you don't like a brown or it doesn't really show up like it happens to me, then you can use a black one just in the outer corner. Remember that you don't really want any harsh lines with this look. You don't want any harsh blackness. Everything needs to be quite soft and smudged and beautiful in that sense, really. So that added just a tiny bit of definition. I love this look for autumn. I think it moves away from that very predictable red, copper, orange shades we see over and over again used for autumn makeup. I think it's a very luminous, glowy, beautiful look that will look gorgeous during daytime as well as more of evening. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a comment down below letting me know if you'd wear this look or if you will try to recreate it, what you think of it. Don't forget to check my blog, lipstick.cafe, and read more about makeup. I hope to see you soon in my next video. Bye!